I wasn't, um, I wasn't going to do another part to the Naruto one. I assume, but literally, y'all niggas was commenting down below. Uh, y'all made it all the way to the end of the video. And, like, within the first, like, hour, I think it was, I got, like, 80 some views, I think it was. I mean, it's more views now. It was like 1 30 when I got off work. So, this is gonna be part two to what if Naruto leaves the village. Give me like two seconds here. And I need y'all to help me out because I'm not too familiar with the Naruto storyline. So, I'm trying to like look it up and do this and do that. So, if there's any fact checks. Fat facts checks y'all want to uh, give me, please let me know. So let me just finish this and we'll get into it. And no, I'm not skipping anything. You you will suffer with me. All right. <clears throat> Okay, so we left off right when uh, Team 7, you know, became Team 7, and they're going to go out and do their mission. I'm not going to do any of the filler stuff. I'm going to just go straight into when uh, they're not necessarily straight when they go into Zabu's uh, uh, fight, but when Naruto's talking to Haku, that little trap dude, motherfucker that looks like a female with the mask and the ice and shit. Uh, she's gonna be like, do you have someone to protect and all that good stuff? So that's gonna be pretty similar, but we gotta also take into account, um, I didn't read the manga, I was just looking up different videos recently, and, um, like, there's a lot of differences, like, Naruto is like a little brat in the manga, so he would be flicking people off and all this type of stuff, right? So we're gonna have that to where it's similar, right? Um, but we're gonna have it to where he's a lot more aggressive, and this will slowly, slowly keep making more of a point, and slowly, slowly keep making more of a thing. This version of Naruto did say he wanted to become Hokage, but like, it's not a hundred percent solidified yet. So we'll get into that. Um, now we can. I'm gonna say. Naruto got trapped in his meditation, not really trapped, but he was doing some mental image training. Um, so that's why he went ahead and stayed and he saved homegirl, blah, blah, blah. Um, while, you know, Sakura, Sasuke and uh, Kakashi, they went out, they, they, they did their mission. So I'm going to say the fight kind of like, you know, led us for the most part. It kind of happened that um, I think if I'm not mistaken, they fought. They fought Zabuzo twice. I'm not going to count the first time. I'm just going to say the first time happens pretty smoothly. But um, the second time when they actually get into the meat and potatoes of an actual fight, what I'm going to say happens is um, Sasuke, you know, Sasuke and Naruto, they're fighting against uh, Haku while uh, Kakashi's fighting against... Uh, Zab Zab Um the difference with this Sasuke though is he's had the Sharigan for a lot longer. Uh I think he did get another Tome. So I'm gonna say he already has like level two. And that helped out with the fight mentally. He tried to use his flame fire um fire jutsu. Him and Naruto like try to use their combination moves. They don't have that many, but they have enough. Um, it helped, but it didn't help. And then when the needles came down to play, uh, I'm going to say that the same thing happens where Sasuke protects him. And then for a brief moment, he like thought he remembered something about his brother crying. Because this version of Sasuke has it it's like right there. It's and it's more it's more right there because his um, memories of his brother are a lot more detailed due to him and his brother being more open and shit. So, with that being said, he does that. Naruto's like, no, because you got to remember now, this is his 
only friend. And the different title wasn't canon is Naruto was still kind of upbeat and jumpy. But this version of Naruto, he gets beat down almost on a daily basis. So this was the only dude that didn't, you know, beat him down. This dude actually helped me out. And so Naruto was a lot more enraged. So he put on a lot more of a thrashing, but he didn't kill Haku. I'll just say when he went for that final punch instead of like killing it, uh, killer uh, him, uh, the fox was like, not yet, or some shit like that. Like, I'll say he would, the fox isn't nice, okay? So that happens. He runs away. Saves uh, Zabuza. Naruto gives a powerful speech. Uh, but not, it's it's more aggressive and not as heartfelt, but it's more of a tough love situation. So the, the this is where the difference comes into play, right? Naruto was just so enraged because... This what happens to weak people. They get tossed and they get used. And so, as Naruto was giving a speech, you could see, like, uh, I'll say it happens. I can make the story how I want. So, you could see the cloak. He doesn't have any tails. You could just see the cloak and this immense chakra. Basically, Naruto kind of does the speech similar, but he's just like, So, you're going to let them do that to him? <coughs> You're gonna let him do that to him? Did he mean nothing to you? He pre he protected you. He did all this stuff. It's just all this emotion. As he's saying this, you can just see the because all the energies and stuff he sustained pretty much healed because he has a better connection with the the fox. And so he's just getting mad and mad. And this dude's and he's like, you know, Zabuza says pretty much what he said, similar like tough. Guess rips that hoe off. Naruto touches this dude's back. And then like kills him. Basically. So his hands and stuff are good. It's not like a perfect connection. But he, you know he's up. Alright. So this nigga goes. Goes in. Alright. By the way. For what I'm going to do for a future part of this. I'm going to get some inspiration from. Uh, Plus Ultraman. So I will give him credit for something, something when I do it later. But um, I haven't looked at the video yet, but I will look at it because I got something I can do. So Zabuza is actually a little bit more uppity. Uh, but Naruto's like, no. Ah. And it, the dialogue that he would be saying is like, I'm sick of people that are stronger treating people weaker like they're trash. So all I'll do is I'll become the strongest. So now he's more focused on being the strongest, because if he's the strongest, he's better, and if he's better, no one can ever, ever hurt me again, but, like, a lot more demonic and more evilish, right, so that's gonna get warped over the years, right, and so the fight commences, right, um, but the difference is Naruto's there, and he is, Furious, so he's with the Zabuza. They're going in. The Zabuza gets the kunai or whatever, but his hands are good, so he can use them. So they actually fuck up all those ninjas pretty much. The man's kill him, you know, pretty much similar to what happened. And then Zabuza is actually able to walk and then just passes out and shit. And you know, they do the bridge, the burial, and all this other shit. Um. The bridge is still named the Naruto Bridge. So that's kind of uh, how that played out. Now, let's see here. Now, before I end this whole, which if y'all see the time, y'all see I got a good minute. Um, now we're going to get into the bees for, um, ugh. Now we're going to get into like the forest, basically, where, you know, they had to get the scrolls and stuff. Um, let's see here. It happens, uh, you know, I'm going to say Naruto uh, gets caught off guard by the snake. But instead of, like, you know, actually getting eaten, he just, you know, gets some of his nine-tailed chakra or whatever. And actually, I'll say he uses a good chunk of his chakra first. And, like, you know, fucks it up with a whole bunch of shadow clones and shit. It took a minute. He got a little bell of damage and a little bit of fatigue. But he's okay. 
Oh, one more thing real quick. Um, Sasuke and Naruto actually didn't have a problem with those uh, father father ninjas when they were going to the bridge thing. Like, you know, when uh, Sasuke was like, are you scared, scaredy cat? That moment didn't happen. It was just kind of more like they both kind of like, I'm not going to say they one shot, but they kind of like three or two hit. Because they're, they're a good a bit stronger than they wasn't canon. Plus, this Naruto is, he's an ass. Like, he's just an asshole. But, he's also a lot more serious than the goofball you remember. Sasuke, on the other hand, he's more serious. But he's a lot more relaxed. Because he's not on, like, I'm a finisher. <sighs> like, he's not, like, super pwned on, like, killing his brother. Like, he doesn't get a boner off on the thought of... He's just more like, I need to talk to him. I need to figure it out. So, he's more on the... Instead of being more like, I need power, he's just like, I need to understand. Now, this is going to come into play momentarily. Uh, now, as Sasuke and Sakura are, you know, fighting against Orochimaru, and that's a big struggle. But I'm going to say Sakura actually does help out a lot more than she does in canon. Due to the simple fact of Sasuke said, you know, I, I like a strong, reliable woman to back me up and all that other stuff. So I'm going to say she actually does, you know, a bit more. And then Sasuke actually puts up a better fight against Orochimaru. Now, before this nigga, uh, now before, you know, Sasuke takes a massive L, Naruto comes in. But the difference is, since he has a better control over the QB form and he used all his chakra to take care of that other, um, uh, that uh, the snake, he's using a lot more uh, chakra and stuff. So he's able to actually avoid uh, Orochimaru for a lot longer. So him and Naruto are actually, you know, throwing some good hands with Orochimaru. They, they combo, playing Firestar, Majestic Jutsu. And then, yes, I would say he has, like, variations of the Flame Jutsu, uh, Fireball Jutsu, due to, you know, him having more deep training with the, his brother. And... That happens, uh, Naruto, you know, uses his, uh, air palm or whatever, which he has a new move he was working on, but he was like, not yet, so he, he has a whole bunch of Shadow Clones, or Orochimaru, just, like, they're having all this fun, and then, what ends up happening is Sasuke gets his shit, like, rocked, Millie rocked by Orochimaru, he gets in flying, Sakura gets in rage, and she, like, you know, uses her, you know, chakra control to help boost her, you know, abilities up a bit. Now, she's throwing some good hands with Orochimaru and gets a couple of solid hits in, but she's really not that strong right now. So, she gets, like, a uh, milli -wise. and then Naruto got mad, bro, because he was like, God damn it, I hate being weak. I can't be like this. Help me out, you. He's basically saying, like, help me out, you goddamn fox. He said, the fox, meanwhile, in the background. <laughs> Say no more. So you see the one tail comes out, and he's just. <sighs> and everyone throughout the whole forest heard that shit. Even Gar was just like, hmm, that's rather interesting. And then, like, you know, proceeds to be an OG and just dip. Right, and Naruto's like, yes, yes. So he's like having an adrenaline high on this power shit, right? Because that's his whole ninja way. And then Sasuke looks at him, and he's and like Naruto's like, see Sasuke, with power, with power, you can do anything. With power, and like he's going, and like he's fucking a Roshi Maro shit up. Bro, and Mochin Lord said, nah, nah, B, we not having none of this shit, dog. So, like, I, I don't really know this nigga's jutsu, so, like, I'm probably just gonna make some shit up, so bear with me here. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm gonna say this nigga does, like, like, a water jutsu or something, and, like, makes the floor dummy slippery, and Naruto's, like, struggling to keep on, but he uses his tail to fling, and then, like, uh, I'm gonna say he gets caught in again, you two, for like a brief moment, but the fox helps him out of it. But by the time he realizes it, a Rochimaru grabs him by the face and just like poof, flings this dude down and then like brings him back and then just says, Nah, none of that bullshit. You're you gonna need to go to sleep, nigga. 
I'm up, I'm up. But then nigga was slumped. And since he didn't have any regular shocker, and the Fox got put now, he, he gonna be 99 for a little bit longer. So I was just like, oh. Oh, no. <laughs> I wrote you tomorrow, said, got a nice neck there. It'd be a shame if uh, somebody were to bite it. He's like, what you mean by that, dog? Give me that neck. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> he gets bit. Soccer, like, tries to fight a roach tomorrow, but a roach tomorrow just like, mm. Because um, I do remember they was getting, like, really fucked up by that intimidation factor. So she, let's just say she got intimidated. She brings these niggas back or whatever. So Naruto's knocked out. He's talking to the fox and shit like that. Damn, bro. Hey, cuz, we're gonna really need to work on this whole relationship. <laughs> we're gonna, cuz, uh, I kind of got folded, dog. Like, I thought I was good, bro. But, like, I got folded, dog. He's like, yeah, you did get folded. Bro, what happened, dog? I thought we had to connect. Nah, we gonna, we gonna need to work on that. <laughs> we gonna need to work on that. Yeah. So they they're they're scheming. Even I don't know the what complete lore, so maybe he couldn't be talking to his fox, but it's my what if fuck everything. Then Sasuke, you know, while Sakura instead of her like doing some struggling, bitch grabs her hair, she just grabs that bitch by her arm and just like <clears throat> ta and just <clears throat> almost breaking her back and like flings her a little bit. And then uh she fights that uh do with the i think win i don't know what it is but uh, he, the high pressure bullshit so she gets her shit really right but she, the difference is she actually puts up a dummy fight she we 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 you know throwing up the shirt and well jutsu and shit so she she's doing something but she's just not strong enough so, she actually protects everyone a lot better and does, like, you know, considerably more damage. That'll make more sense in a second here. Bro, Sasuke wakes up, dog. He's like, ah, I see Naruto. Naruto? Yes, close enough. I see. This is what you're referring to. Oh, this power. I just feel like I can do anything. But then right before he could, like, bug out, he just thought about, why do I keep seeing an image of Itachi crying? No matter. You must not worry about that. He also has a flashback, which I would say this happened so everyone would make more sense of it. But he has a flashback of his brother saying, in a battle, you want to steal. It's going to be some Buddhist type shit. Like you want to steal your emotions for the moment. Focus on the objective, um, you know, at hand. So like he has like a mini flashback of his brother saying, focus. So, he'll think about this after the fact. Okay. Um. Anyway, so Sasuke does what he does in canon. But the only difference is he fucks more people up and a lot easier. So, instead of just fucking up that one dude, he sees that one girl and he sees some pink hair in her hand. So, he's like, oh, hell no. Nobody's going to touch my baby. <laughs> Nigga says, <"D> <laughs> don't peace. He pretty much just one shot her. He looks at dude with the hands or whatever. Because these niggas shook. And like, she's down on the ground. So you know how this works. He's like, ah. Uh. <laughs> Flames everywhere. Nigga said, man, get that leak shit out of here, nigga. He said, uh, dumbass. <laughs> All those shirt guns. He peeps behind him. Hi, how are you? <laughs> these arms looking pretty breakable. Can we talk about no? <clears throat> you know, Shigamaru in the game, they like, oh. Oh, no. Hey, I want to leave. So he does that, bro. Uh, then he's about to fuck up this nigga. Sakura is a lot more damaged. So she's like, Sasuke, please don't. Like, with that mean anime, like, uh, that mean anime tug. I don't even know why that's a thing, but whatever. And he's just like. All right. 
Oh, I did forget, once again, I'm trying to work with this. I did forget about the whole Rock Lee and how he came in to help and all that shit, but yeah. Uh, anyways, Sasuke basically, you know, stops and then they get the scrolls and they, they pretty much do the dippy dip. So let's see, make sure I'm not forgetting them. I don't think I am. I know the nigga's in the comment. You stupid, ignorant. Obviously, around 13 such and such. Nah, but for real, um, we get that out the way. And then, uh, I'm gonna say, you know, the Leaf Village, the um, Leaf Ninjas come, they, they, they do their thing, they get to score, they're good. And then when they form an alliance with a Kabuto, nothing really dramatic here happens. It's just, uh, they fuck up those niggas a lot more easier. Naruto, you know, uses a little bit more of his uh, QB. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, he kind of just almost one-shots the men's. And Sasuke's actually trying to focus on not using that power. Because he didn't like how that took him out of his mindset. Because he was just kind of kill, 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 He didn't like that. And... Now with that out of the way, um, I think that would be it. Uh, I think that'll complete that part. And then on the next part, I'm going to do the tournament, the tuning exams. But uh, pretty much of the turn uh, tournament, I'm trying to make sure because I'm about to click in video. And I don't want to have to add something at the end of the... Um, I think I did as good as I can. Um... Uh, if I did forget something, I'll just tag it on at the end of the, uh, the next what if.